Welcome back to the Pokemon Black and White 3 Genesis playthrough and today we're gonna fight gym leader Marlon and last time we ended it a bit short because we wanted to get some rare candies into our game which I have done so and with our party I have pretty much leveled them up uh, to level 9 with our starter being level 11 and we did learn some few uh, extra moves so our Mareep learned Thundershock uh, which was which is gonna be quite good for this gym because it is a water gym we did level up Oshawa he was kind of uh, over leveled already um, Igglybuff learned Sing and Sweet Kiss and Sawaddle learned Bug Bite so let's start off with the gym Gym leader Marlon. Now, we did battle this first trainer here. So we got this trainer here. And again, the game looks absolutely beautiful. Like this gym looks beautiful. The water just it, it just makes me feel happy, you know? Alright, swimmer Angela sent out a Remoraid, I see. Who is level 10. So we might we might need to uh, get our Pokemon up to level 10 then uh, with some rare candies. Let's see how much Thundershock does though That's doing a lot more damage now All right, Remoraid uses water gun. That's all right So how's everyone's day going? Leave it leave your answers in the comments below. I want to know what you've done today Or maybe in like just the past week, you know, it's been Six days into the New Year's. Hope everyone's settled in well. I personally have settled well. Been quite busy with a lot of um, YouTube stuff. Uh, you might have seen me around in a lot of streams uh, lately. Which is... Uh, very common for me. All right, let's let's get everyone to level ten before we fight the gym leader. I think that's a solid, fair level. Uh, we'll change it over for the layout, and here we go. Gym leader Marlon. Are we fully healed? Pretty sure we are, yep. Alright, we'll lead off with Mareep and let's get on to it. Marlon, light. How's your training coming? You're finally ready up to take on my gym challenge? Sweet, I won't hold back, light. Come on. Here we go. Bow music goes insane. Sent out a Maril who is level 10, so we're kind of on par with the level. Starting off with rollout, okay, it's a bit scary because that does power up each turn, but we're doing good damage, I'd say. All right, rollout again. Okay, Marip is taking it. Marip is taking it, which is always good. And we just we just kill there, right? Wow, Mareep is strong. Let's go. And a Basculin. I think we just stay in. Ooh, that Basculin sprite. Whoa, that takedown did a lot more damage than I thought it would. That 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 was a lot more damage. It's level thirteen. Okay, it goes for takedown again. Can my Swaddle take one? Yeah, it can. Okay, it's taking recoil. That's fine. How much is Bug Bite doing? Not much. Okay, we got the Orenberry from last time. It sets up the Rain Dance. Alright, we're slowly whittling it away, which is good. Oh, you used a potion. That's not nice. 
Alright, another takedown is coming. We're down to 4 HP. Hopefully Marlon doesn't have any other healing. Because currently, um, I'm going to go for one more bug bite. And I'm going to let Oshawa take him down. Yeah. Not worth healing. There, we'll go into Oshawa. Hopefully Oshawa is strong enough to take this Basculin down. It is raining. Take down. Hopefully we eat it better. Oh my god, that is so much damage. And that is no damage. I hope I hope the Basculin goes for goes for a takedown here. This is a bit scary. Okay, takedown. Down to 3 HP. Wait, we can just kill him by recoil if we just heal again. Do we take one more? Oh, it misses. That's huge. That's huge. Okay, we go for the tackle here. Please live. Oh, we don't live. But we take it down from the recoil and we do win the battle. Kind of a scummy way to win there, but honestly, we'll take it. We will take it. So we got the wave badge. Lovely. We'll gladly take the wave badge. And we get the TM for Rain Dance. So if we want, we can teach that to our Oshawa here. It causes a crazy rainstorm that makes water type attacks stronger. You know, like, there are Pokemon gyms in all kinds of cities, towns, across, you know, but you should test your skills at those gyms too. If you head over to Undelaton, you can find the entrance to Reversal Mountain. Head through there to find the path forward. Good luck, Light. Wow. That, that was a, that was a scary battle, for sure. But we made it through. Mom's calling. Hi Light, it's your mother. I'm told you're going on a Pokemon journey. I wish you would have had told me. That does sound exciting though, I have to admit. You know, I spent a lot of time around Pokemon when I was younger. I'm pretty good at knowing how a Pokemon is with a trainer. Uh, give me a call if you want me to tell you how friendly a Pokemon is towards you. Now be safe and have fun in your travels, Light. You got this baby. Click. Boo. Alright. So, Mother can tell us how friendly our Pokemon is, which is quite good. We'll, we'll take those. So, Marlon told us to go to Reversal Mountain. Now, Reversal Mountain sounds scary. So, hopefully we can power through that. Uh, let's actually buy some potions. Because we did use quite a lot in the battle. And we have access to super potions as well. Alright, I'm going to buy three potions. And I'm going to buy one super potion, just in case. Alright. And since Marlon has his ace at level 13, we'll, we'll level up some of our Pokemon. Um, up a bit. So, Mareep is learning Curse. I'll get rid of Growl. It might come in helpful. Alright, Oshawa. We need two levels, because that was Marlon's ace. We kind of want to stick around for a good level set here. So, we'll get everyone to like 13 and 11. And I think that should be solid. So, Fairy Wind for Igglybuff. Ooh, I'll get rid of Sweet Kiss. And Sawaddle so is level 11 now. Perfect. Alright, I think we're not that over leveled. And we can definitely go back towards 
Undella Town. Okay, this is the Marine Tube. Let's head on back. All right, the Marine Tube. You know, it it looks it looks fine. You know, it's not as cool as Black and White Two had it, but it's still really nice aesthetically. All right. Reversal Mountain is a dangerous place full of wild Pokemon. I see you have the wave pad from Human Isle City Gym. Be careful in there. Alright, we can enter in. And this is a new area so we can get another encounter. Alright, this is our encounter. And we get a Woobat. We'll take, we'll t we'll absolutely gladly take a Woobat. Right, we paralyzed the Wubat and I am going to chuck a Pokeball at it. Alright, let's hopefully we catch it in one ball. That'll be cool. Nope. Alright, it, it's using Confusion. At least it has a good move to start out with. Alright, let's throw more, poke more, more Pokeballs. One. Oh, this thing is hard to catch, apparently. Alright, let, let's, let's, let's take some extra measures. Let's do some tackling. Get its health a bit lower. Alright, it's in the yellow. I think we can definitely get it into the red with one more tackle. There we go, it's in the red. Okay, and now we should be able to catch this Wubat much more easily. One, two, three. There we go, we got ourselves a Wubat, which is a nice addition to be fair. I will, I will gladly take a Wubat. So here comes Wubat in the layout, looking nice and lovely. Alright, I'm going to go back and heal. Oh, found another encounter. A Rog and Roller. Alright, so this Rubat will be level 11 once we red candy it. And let's head on over. Alright, we'll heal, we'll get Rubat leveled up. And maybe we need repels. Because I don't want to keep encountering things since we already got our encounter. Alright. Is there any repels? There is. Alright. We'll buy two repels. It won't be much, but we can definitely get more later on the line. Alright, I'm also going to level up our Wubat to level 11. It learned Gust, which is quite nice. When I first played through uh, Black and White, I wasn't really a fan of Wubat. I, I didn't... Like, as a child, you want all the, like, strong poke one. Well, if that was for me as well, but... I preferred all the strong poke one I wanted to get. So, Wubat, I wasn't really, like, a fan of. So, I'd never really used it in my team. I think the first... First Pokemon that I caught after... Was one of the monkeys, but I'd never... Never evolved it, I don't think. 
this Dwebble is looking cute. This Dwebble is looking cute. That, that rock, that rock tomb did a lot. Or oh, rock throw, I think it was. Alright, we're gonna switch out into the Oshawa to deal with it. So yeah, I remember having a Crocodile. I was really happy with Crocodile. And I had a Darmanitan. So those two Pokemon was were really fun to use, honestly. I had an Electros. I also had an Electros and an Excadrill. I thought those Pokemon looked really cool. At AA Ron. Alright, we can kill an AA Ron. Splash a little bit of water on it. And we take it down. Let's go. Ash was low key the carrier of our team. Alright, let's see what's in this Pokeball. Found a Moonstone. That's pretty hype. Alright, let's heal up. Alright, that should be enough health uh, to venture forward. Oh, there's a mighty trainer there. Alright, I'll use the repel. And I am going to fight him just for some experience. Alright, a rock and roller. Who is level 8, so it should be more handable. And we're doing quite a lot of damage with the... Armor Reaper's looking strong as hell. Alright, we'll switch out. Okay, let's let's give let's give our new um mon a chance for battle. We always we always want our new Pokemon to thrive in this situation. Ooh, so that is a lot of that's that's good damage. Uh, for a confusion. We'll take those. We take those. Nice. Big W's. Wubat already proving how strong it is. Oh, we're already into another battle. They did say Reversal Mountain will be th treacherous and difficult, but so far it's been fine. It's been fine. Oh, oh my god, that Muna Sprite! Oh my god! He's so fluffy and thick and like balloon shaped almost. And it's also level 14 which is a bit scary. Definitely very scary. You set up a reflect. Alright, I'm gonna thunder wave you. Oh, you're protected by safeguard. Oh, yeah. Yep, that'll do it. Hopefully, we live a side beam. <gasps> 1 HP. Let's go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We need, we need to get Oshawa in. He's our saving grace. So, hopefully, we can do something. Psybeam coming through. That's going to do a lot. Yeah, that's doing 20 points of damage. Alright, how much is a water gun doing? It currently has a reflect up, but water gun shouldn't affect it. It goes for rest. Oh, this is, this is one toxic Muna. Hmm. 
All right, the reflect war off. Okay, that crit, that crit really helps. And since you're still asleep, let's keep water gunning. Why not? Hopefully we get another crit. Okay, you woke up and side beam. That might be our Oshawa dead. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But Sawaddle, with the bug bite, should be able to take it down. There we go. There we go. Whew, that was scary. Our Mareep is level 12. And that's last Harriet down. All right. We need to head straight back to the Pokemon Center. Because I need my Oshawa alive. I do love the music in this game. Oh wait, does that? I just realized it has the same Gen 5 like style of like uh, asking for potions. That's incredible that they implemented it into this Romac. That is beautiful. I'd love to see features like that, like, kept into these games, because, honestly, it really helps. Okay, there's a Pokeball here. Get Dusk Ball, which is quite good. We'll take those Dusk Balls. Oh, there's our Repair. Repel off, and we already found an encounter. Which is a Zubat. I'm kind of glad we didn't get Zubat, because... No, Kanto, Kanto Mons on this game, I don't like the purpose of them. I feel like it should stick mostly to Gen 5, but I, I do love the inclusivity of older generation Mons. Don't get me wrong. But Zuba is a bit, a bit boring to use. Because ex Zubat's in every single game, so... I'm actually very, very happy we got a bat. Alright, let's bow you. Hopefully you don't give me too much trouble. Onyx. Okay. Onyx is a bit scary for our Mareep. So, I'm going to switch out into our Oshawa instantly. Goes for a Rock Tomb. Which, okay, we take. We have lowered speed now, so this Onyx is, Onyx is outspeeding. But honestly, I think one Water Gun should take this down. There we go. Easy as that. Level 14 for our Oshawa. And that's Hiker Brett taken down. Not too bad, not too bad. Alright, let's potion up. Alright, 35 HP should be okay. There's an item over there. Oh, there's an Onyx that we just killed. <laughs> Although this one is level 7 and not claimed by anyone. Oh, trainer. Did not expect him. So he's saying he's strong. Let's prove him wrong. Backpacker Frank. Asteroid videos. <laughs> Make sure you check him out. He is a great, great guy. Snubble. 
Alright, that's fine. Our attack... We're, we're using a special move. So... We should be good. Scary face, you lower our speed. That's no problem at all. And one more thunder shock should take it down. There we go. Perfect. And we got to level 13. Uh, a Wubat. We can stay in. We can stay in. We have a super effective move against it. Okay, you go for the confusion. We should be fine. There we go. We're fine. Oh, that's only doing half, but another one will take it down. Gust, that's resisted. We're good to go. One more Thundershock. Takes you down. Let's go. And this Mareep is already level 13, you know? Already level 13. We gotta, gotta start using some of our other mons. They're kind of missing out. But Mareep's been so helpful with the gym, so I don't blame it. Alright, we found an Awakening. Nice. Oh, these encounters. An Aeron, nice. That's also another one that I would have liked to have. Because Agron is cool. Alright, here we go. Another battle. Alright, we'll switch out instantly depending on what this is. This is a Mawile. Okay. Bring out all the different types of Pokemon here. Alright, we'll go with the Thunder Wave. Goes for Bite. Alright, we're taking one. Nice. So, Morwell is a pure steel type, if I remember. So. We'll go out into our Oshawa. And the Morwell got full parrot. Oh, that's not a lot of damage. I must say, that is not a lot of damage. A couple more water guns should take it out. And one more should do it. And it got fully paralyzed. There we go. Morwell is down. Down and out. That's a lot of XP as well. We'll take that. Alright. Let's get Sawaddle to the front. And let's keep going. These encounters. They're, they're coming so often. Alright. Let's run away. Oh, you're blocking the path. Dot, dot, dot. I think this is the way out. Question mark. Hey, don't sneak up on a guy like that. Don't you know who I am? I'll teach you not to te mess with Team Plasma. Team Plasma's already here? Oh, no. Oh, my God. The music. Oh, it sounds so good. That is a Ghastly at level 14. Oh, that that is not doing a lot of damage. Alright. Um, I think we just... I think we go into our Wubat here. We go to our Wubat here. It's like, it's the Team Plasma music, but in the style of Pokemon Crystal. It... <laughs> It's like the 8-bit version. It, it sounds so good.
Oh, we got put to sleep. That's all looking good. Oh, it took itself out, but we got put a curse on. And now's the battle. We defeated Team Plasma. Let's go. Darn it, you made a powerful enemy today. Team Plasma is not to be messed with. Want to figure out where I am? You're done for. Damn. Is this the exit? Oh. Alright. We'll wrap the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll take on more of Reversal Mountain in the next episode. Make sure, if you haven't already, liked and subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode.